everybody, Carl Schuf here from Snorkel.tv, and today what I want to do is explain to the less technically inclined uh, the advantages and the awesomeness of the Mole Hill 3D APIs that Adobe has been working on with various uh, 3D engine creators. Uh, now, Adobe will say the Mole Hill API allows developers access to very low levels GPU, 3D APIs, blah, blah, blah. What it means is that Flash Player can now offload all of its 3D rendering to a dedicated graphics card or the GPU. Um, Flash has come under fire recently for being processor intensive. Um, well now immersive 3D environments will be able to render um, with literally no overhead on the CPU. This is going to be insane on the desktop as well as mobile devices really setting the Flash platform apart from any other competitor. Uh, so right now I'm watching a video of this game called uh, Zombie Tycoon um, and it's all being it's a video of a Flash rendering but now with the release of the Flash Player 11 incubator build uh, people like you and I can experiment with this stuff in real time and see how it actually works. Um, if we go to the Adobe Labs site um, they'll give you a link to download the Flash Player incubator. Now this is just really um, a file player that's out there for developers who are feeling a little bit um, experimental here. Um, so they're saying the incubator is a technology preview program for more adventurous developers. So they're not saying, hey, this is, you know, battle tested ready for production, but if you want to get your hands on it, take a look. So what I want to do here is show you, now that I've installed the incubator, exactly how well it runs in real time and really get you excited about what's literally around the corner for everybody. So I'm going to jump over to Firefox where I have the incubator installed. And now this was built by Away 3D. They make a 3D engine to use with Flash. This is rendered in Flash Player 11. And when you install Flash Player 11, all your Flash content is going to have this little tag on the bottom, Flash Player 11 incubator build. All right. And so here you notice this nice glossy surface. Well, it's in a 3D environment that's supporting reflections and also check out these little drops that I can draw. So anybody who's worked with 3D at all knows that doing water is incredibly processor intensive, um, but this is all rendering in real time. I can spin it around and it's absolutely beautiful. I can turn on things like rain and now drops of rain show up. I can adjust the strength and the life, um, but really to see the uh, reflections going on here and just the total fluid rendering that I can spin around and interact with. It's just really incredible. I can zoom in, zoom out, and uh, I urge you guys to really check out this demo. There are some videos similar to this online showing you these features. Now, something else that excites me is this 3D head video, uh, little app built by Away 3D. And this is all responding to my mouse in real time. It's absolutely brilliantly smooth. The texture is absolutely phenomenal. And to think that the Flash player is going to be develop is going to be delivering, I'm sorry, content like this in the very near future to anybody on any device is really just uh, mind blowing. Uh, so I really want to excite people to get into this stuff. Next, what I'm going to do is show you a little demo of the Adobe Max Racer game. All right, now we're going to take a look at the Adobe Flash Player 11 incubator build inside of Firefox, and I'm going to be demonstrating the Adobe Max Racer game that you've probably seen in tons of videos. I just want to show you how insanely playable it is. You may be saying, Carl, you're going the wrong way. Um, well, I'm a skilled driver. I'm just going to jam on the e-brake, pull a perfect 180 like that, line myself up for the jump, and we're going to hit this thing pretty much at max speed. And just check out how smooth that renders, how nice I can recover, and we're just going to bust around these corners. Now, you have to keep in mind, I watch the Dukes of Hazard about twice a day, so my driving skills, um, it's going to take a while for you guys to get this good at this game. Um, but the rendering here is just insane. I'm going to slow it down a little bit so you guys can take it all in. This is all rendering in real time, smooth as any console game would render. Um, while I'm driving around, I can hit C to change my view. And just look at the textures and the detail. It's phenomenal. Great job, Adobe. Um, this is really going to be a game changer here. And we'll just hit this jump one more time. Totally straight on, dead perfect and uh, it's a lot of fun. So 
definitely check out Max Racer if you've installed the incubator build. Well, hopefully you've been impressed with what you've seen as far as the capabilities of Molehill with Flash. Um, I'm going to leave you guys with some resources so you can see some more cool videos and read more about the uh, existing 3D frameworks that are using Molehill over at snorkel.tv. And uh, right here is just a very short list. I'm going to link you up to Ooze's blog. And uh, we got another page over here that has just a whole bunch of the videos that you can watch. Um, what this means to you as a Flash developer or creative director is that uh, the battle is not over by any means. Um, Flash has a huge future on desktop and mobile devices. Um, it's really amazing now that the 3D community that has been sort of struggling to get their stuff to work well in Flash, you know, they've been doing some great work. Um, but now, really, there's a whole community of 3D developers that are going to be able to create uh, impressive, immersive, interactive 3D environments um, that are going to run awesome via the Flash player. And since they're going to be built on top of the Flash platform, the number of devices that it will be available on is just going to be staggering. So if you are a 3D modeler, if you do textures, if you do character rigging, um, the world of Flash is welcoming you with open arms. Uh, and for all the Flash developers out there, these um, different 3D engines like Away 3D and such, um, they're going to make your job of scripting interactive 3D content very, very easy, or at least much easier than it has been. So uh, get fired up, guys. There's a lot of Flash goodness awaiting you. All right, take it easy.